Yandre, how's your how's your leg feeling? You look like you're kind of walking off, limping towards the end. No, I just got um, cramps. That's about it. How was the how did it feel to finally play someone instead of practicing against each other? Oh, it felt amazing. You know, um, finally going out there and using our stuff that we've been working on the whole summer against uh, our opponents tonight. It was pretty fun. Yeah, Andrew, what did you like most about the way the offense flowed? Oh, Coach Miller is always, I mean, he's big on throwing the ball in the post, inside out, and you know that's how we get our buckets. We always know you like the environment. What was it like just playing in the fans for the first time? Oh, yeah, that was... I was live. That was fun. You know, I enjoy all of that. Manuel, it looked like you had the outside shot working. Uh, what were you doing out there today? Oh, you know, I've been working on my shot all summer, and my teammates did a great job getting me the ball, and I just hit them. Are you labeled more of a defensive player than an offensive player that, do, that you've heard? Or? I think I'm just extremely versatile. I could play both ends of the floor, and I'm just out there how my team win. For both of you guys, what was the difference playing a game versus practicing against one another? Um, I guess the other team don't really know where it plays. Like we call our sets so loud. When we practice, we know what we're doing. We can cheat the plays a little bit. But, um, you know, we really had to execute today, tonight, and we did. Yeah, execute. I mean, communication is key. And that's what we did, you know. Uh, we executed everything pretty well. And that was about it. So, guys, that opponent that you faced tonight was outmatched. What can you learn about yourselves against an opponent like that? Um, just bring it every game, no matter what the, no matter what people say about the competition, you know. Just do what we do, like Coach Mo Coach Miller says, and just execute and dominate. What was the overall assessment of the defense tonight? Oh, you know, it was our first game, so we uh, made a couple of mistakes, of course, but we're gonna keep getting better and keep practicing. Yeah, this is communication on defense. Yeah, do you think it's gonna be the way it is when you have a team like this where you can really? Even more dominate them inside, uh, you know, or or could this, you know, could you you expect being that kind of a go-to guy down there? I mean, every, every time. Coach Miller wants me to start inside out every time. If they if they don't stop me from scoring inside, there's no need to be going outside or changing it up. How, how did it feel, just in general? I mean, there's been so much I mean, a lot of all this freshman class, but but you as much as anybody, uh, you know, a lot of. Expectations, hype. Do you feel pressure at all? Are you enjoy that, mm -hmm. or what's it been like just to mm -hmm. you know deal with that? There's no pressure at all. I'm just having fun. That's about it. You know, I like it out here in Tucson. Yeah, dude. What, what most impresses you about Emmanuel in his game? Oh, like he said, he's very versatile. He looks for his teammates first. Um, his defense is crazy, and he communicates. Uh, and he's a he's a, to me he's a team leader because he keeps everybody poised and he talks to everyone. We know that Buddy Hill, two years ago on the Bahamas, had a big year. What are you looking forward to to try to follow in his footsteps? Uh, just represent them as much as I can in a positive way, you know. It looked like there were a couple that you could have dumped, but you finger rolled. Was that intentional? Um, yes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was just trying to put the ball in the hoop. That's about it. Well, some of those it seemed like you really could go either way. I mean, what's going through your mind, or do you switch it up, or do you just score? Just, feel? Yeah. just score. That's about it. Because you got to run back on defense at the end of the day. Anything else for DeAndre or Emmanuel? Well, Emmanuel, could you you could talk about your just in general your your freshman experience so far? You know, a lot was made about how you had to reclassify, and uh, it seems like you've been ready physically and everything else. I mean, has it been any kind of transition for you in general? Um, not a big transition because I went to a prep school on my own for the past two years. But um, coming here, you know, getting in the weight room, working hard with the guys, you know, really focusing on basketball and who in my game has been great this summer. What do you think about coaches' comparison? He compared you to Ronda Ellis Jefferson. What do you think about that? Um, watching the past films, um, I could I could understand why. We're both are really good defensive players. Uh, bring energy on the court, so I can see the comparison. Has your, has your body changed much since you've been here? Um, yeah, I gained about 10 to 12 pounds, so pretty good. Does it make you play any differently? Can you play any differently? I think I could play the same way. I've been a guard my whole life, so nothing's going to change. I mean, now that you're here doing that, do you feel like, hey, if I was still a Wasatch, you know, that'd be kind of boring almost? I mean, are you, are you glad you made Oh, I loved it at Wasatch, but, you know, it's, I had to move on. You know, I'm trying to 
um, get better, make, make it to the NBA, and I think here is the place to go. Anything else? Thanks, Thanks. Mm -hmm.